Hey guys, we are back in the cave, and I'm pretty sure that from this point forward we're working on the monk storyline. Uh, to a mind at peace, the lightest of things can be the heaviest. Okay. I'm guessing we go down or we go across? From loading in and out of the game before. Okay, I can't go through here until I complete... Whatever. I want to stand on this. Well, apparently I am uh, not qualified. So, we will... Tim the monk will grab our hot dog. And let's go. Everybody. You guys. Uh -huh. Come on, kids. And jump. Nope. Aha, there's got to be something. Alright, I'm confused. Blah, blah, blah. Heaviest blah, blah, blah. But I want a hot dog. Oh, I can go up. Well then. At some point we're gonna... Oh, I see. We have to... Climb a mountain or something? With a hot dog. Something, something, something hot. Oh, this looks like it could be painful. Okay. <laughs> it fell the correct way, at least. Alright, so I still don't fully under- Hey look, there's an alien in there. Um. We are now approaching the misty, snow-capped peaks the monk desires to call home. A sequestered haven of austerity and mental rigor, where entire lives are spent in the pursuit of becoming one with the world. Of course, our telekinetically inclined friend is not quite so ambitious. He'll be happy enough simply being the one in charge, no matter what it takes. Something, something, murder? Hello? Okay. I just hate that every time I use that ability, it, like, stops. Okay. Hold on here. Welcome, young apprentice. You have come far yet. Your mind is not at peace. To achieve enlightenment, you must pass the four trials of Zenness. Oh boy. Take this and begin your journey. Yes, gone. Type person. Hey. I now Do not have let a your opinion of yourself grow too great. Remember this always a single feather outweighs all mankind. Isaac Newton was down here once. I'm pretty sure he would call that scientifically inaccurate. <laughs> All right. That was quite a climb just to grab a feather and turn right back around. I think it's a Zen thing. You know, the journey to enlightenment is more arduous than any mountain path. That sort of crap. Mountain agree, paths are still sort of pretty arduous, though. Yep. Oh, I was thinking I was gonna die again. And my guy's running into a wall, because that's how we do it. Whee! Splat. <laughs> the kids are still glowing. Okay. Seriously? The feather Our enlightenment added the seeking additional trio required, has completed the first the trial of Zenness, which I'm fairly confident is not actually a word. I'm a bit behind the technological curve down here. You know, no spell check. Uh, can I like not have that? 
you can just go over it, so screw you, head. Something, something, lotus blossoms. Wait. Um, kind of working. Aha! The wind. Let's see what the sign says. Patient thoughts, there's petals scattered to the wind. You know, this is kind of annoying. So are they saying I have to move really slowly? Hmm, no, apparently I can't move at all. Alright, screw this. What's going on down here? Screw you, window. Nope. Same thing applies. I still have to move slowly, apparently. Nope. The window reopened. Alright. If all else fails, I'll have... No, I can't have somebody else carry the pedals. Yeah, only the monk can do this. Hello! Come on, let me move. Seriously. Alright. Um... Hmm. Damn it. Yeah, the well, monk like ten tries later, trial finally got it. This. He seems to be tackling these challenges in good faith and the proper spirit of calm. Uh, just terrible course, freaking design. Still waters That's run all. deep and very. And, and very it has dark. everything to do with the controls, like the movement. It's just so silly. Anyways, we're moving on. <sighs> An ordered mind seeks equilibrium in all things. Sloppy mind just uses the internet. Monkpuzzle.com. Seriously. Seriously. You know what? I'm almost tempted to see what monkpuzzle.com brings you. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, okay. Um, I have laptop. <laughs> I'll try and overlay this into the video, but it basically reads a third trial of Zenness. Acquire seven uh, acquire the seven gallon vessel, make it full. Pour the seven gallon vessel into the four gallon vessel. Acquire the four gallon vessel. Make it empty. Pour the contents of the seven gallon vessel into the four gallon vessel. Make full the four, uh, the seven gallon vessel. Pour blah blah blah. Okay. Is this thing serious right now? It is freaking serious. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, all right. Do this. Fill it with water. Pour this into this. Actually, I think I've I've seen stuff like this before. Can I can I put this down? And we dump the four gallons. Uh, because we need to get to six, right? Okay. Um. We should be able to... I mean this. Fill this again. That should be three gallons, right? In here? Okay. Then all we do is we fill this one again. We should then pour into that. And the remainder should be six gallons. It's known that the cave does not approve of using external sources to circumvent official tests of skill and intellect. So I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt on this one. 
yeah, in yeah, any yeah. case, that's trial number three complete. Technically. Technically. No, I have seen um, the stupid little water gallon or jug whatever puzzles like that. Come back. Oh boy. Let's see what this one brings up. Rising anger. That doesn't even begin to cut what we've had to deal with here, rising anger. Let me tell you, there's going to be a part of the video that's going to be completely cut out that you guys don't want to hear, trust me. All right, the path to enlightenment is a journey of peace and stillness of the mind. Yeah, right, okay. So. Um, exactly. Um, um, you know, I'm not sure what to do here. Um. I see three pads, which means three people are required. So we'll put the monk in the middle. Let's bring the kids on up. Actually, where the hell are the kids? Alright. Sure, now the freaking window stays closed. Yep. Yeah. Part of the video that I will be cutting out for sake of uh, censorship and whatever insist that certain people, namely uh, a few developers who came up with this jump mechanic and a few of the uh, ways this game functions, to die in a horrible, horrible fire or possibly get hit by a very large speeding bus. Oh look, magic carpets. Or some such thing. The object of desire is the monkey? Can I have the object of desire? Apparently I can't have the object of desire. Can I have his object of desire? I may have failed this test. Whee! Alright. Since his object of desire will be over there. I'm, you know what? I don't think this is correct. I don't think this is what I should be doing. But I'm going to test this anyways. The monk wants his thing. Uh, you know what? I probably could have hopped back on there before it was too late. Nope. Once you have it, you can't do anything with it. No! No, no, no! What the f Obviously, the game is penalizing me for wanting the things that I want. I'm like, no! You're not learning anything from this lesson, says the cave. Well, I want things. Shiny things. The kids want rat poison. Alright, up the stupid little rope thing here. Let's go see what the Twins Cave painting has to do. What? Are you serious right now? Soon to be 100% parent free. <sighs> That's a fact. Oh, good news. We get to start over again. So let's see what happens when we don't go and get a cave painting this time. Because getting the cave paintings is a penalty, folks. It means you have to start the whole floating up the stupid slow ass things all over again. But that's okay. Because I'm guessing that's okay. 
this even take us? I liked the rope. That was at least a way out. And it was twice as fast as this stupid carpet thing. Alright. So. Da, 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 da. And we die anyways. Alrighty then. Did anybody ever get the urge to just throw their keyboard through the screen? Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Alright, so we are still on this crap right now, and um, starting to get a little bit frustrated just because, again, I'm just so aggravated with poor design choices and uh, absolute shit controls, but we're going to take his monkey thing. Since nobody else gets telekinesis, nobody else gets what they want. He doesn't get his teddy bear, and the twins don't get their rat poison. No, instead, we're gonna ride these stupid ass carpets up one more time. And if it fails one more time, I'm just gonna end the video here and we'll figure it out some other time. But if by some miracle chance, it doesn't fail, we'll continue. Maybe. Our deepest desires can seem so real, uh -huh. so crucial, can't they? But in the end, just like everything else, their glimmer fades. Surely the most worthwhile goal is acceptance of one's place in the universe. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I think these Zen guys are rubbing off on me. Well, uh -huh. that's all four trials. Enjoy the fruits of enlightenment. Well, apparently enlightened. Alright, so let's see if I'm enlightened enough to do any... Only meditation is on gain the fullest view of the world. I want to freaking meditate. Am I meditating? Okay, I'm meditating now. Um... Hey, there's my hot dog. I see. That makes the, uh... uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I think the master's about to get owned. Remember this, apprentice. Your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own unguarded thoughts. Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever, Master. After your stupid-ass trials, I want to see you die in a pit. Really, I do. You have angered me greatly. Alright, so we've done this. What was that? Oh, shit. That was close. That was close, too. Aha! What's up this one? Alright, nothing. Because we can't get up there. We need a box. Is there a pushable box around here? Are you a pushable box? Nope. I don't see a pushable box. Nothing my telekinetic powers can actually accomplish here. Alright. Um, I don't know. zoomed in again, so now we have to meditate to zoom out, because that's the full view of the world. Or some such garbage. I have no idea. I just want to get back outside and kill this guy for coming up with his garbage. 
All worldly pursuits Aha. have but one That's inevitable the key. end. Destruction. Oh, shut up. You're gonna get what's coming to you, bastard. That's right. I'm gonna... Um... Um... You know how I've been... Like, angry with shitty quality control and game design? Look at what I found! <laughs> uh, well, the good side is, I can probably bring one of these guys up to pull it. I mean, can this get any worse? You know, I would have quit a couple videos ago, but now it's almost a matter of... I don't know, it's... it's like, I don't want to just have a half-finished thing out there, but... The perfect gift to win her love. But I'll tell you, the game doesn't deserve to be played when it acts like this. It really doesn't. I would love to give this a glowing recommendation, but now I think I'm just doing it to piss myself off. I see you understand what it is to be at peace with yourself. Yeah, but well. be warned, a true Zen master is also at peace with the world. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Go be in pieces down below. This How's that is sound? going to hurt. Yeah, I don't think that's the orthodox method for obtaining this particular position in the temple. But what do I know? I never passed comparative religion. <laughs> Okay, so, what do we know now? Um, back to the beginning. I'm enlightened. Do you suppose the monk's companions knew what he was up to? Oh, do you lovely. suppose he himself knew? Or was he acting out the only path he had? I have my own thoughts on the matter, and I've had more than a few millennia to weigh it over. But I'll let you reach your own conclusions. Our friend, the monk's <laughs> you know, tale it blows my fucking mind. Sometimes you can't avoid getting hooked to the ladder. Other times, the ladder just... It's not there. That's okay. We're just going to drop you to your death and put you all the way back at the freaking top again. For no apparent reason, because there is zero consistency. Wow. You know, it's like those guys who do the, the bad game reviews. Consider that like this. This game... I, I had such high hopes. I really, really, really wanted to be so much better than this. But I'll tell you... It's just, ah, uh, it's not. It just isn't. No, bad game. We have to finish it for the sake of finishing it now. But bad game. I want to stand on this. And I'm so awesome, I can do it without facing the gate. Look at that. Hmm, let's see what the twins thing is. Forced to eat. <laughs> Which is why they're creepy little undead kids. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Actually, that'll be for the next video. I think we're probably getting towards the end where we can finally uh, start winding this down since we're seeing everybody's individual stories coming to a close. So, I have no idea what could possibly be next, but I'm sure it'll be an absolute disaster. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching.